Hey guys, we're here just outside of Islands of Adventure and we are so excited for today's you video. You have no idea. Universal has invited us out to a fan event. So we just got here, we just got checked in and we've got about 20 minutes until the event starts. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and tips for your next theme park vacation. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So when we got invited to this, we were like beside ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we already had this trip planned and this just fit right in line with it. But with some of the things that we know are going to happen, we, oh, like we've been, over the moon about mm -hmm. it like so they are about to give us like an itinerary and we'll have more information once we get that we're not really sure what all it's going to entail all we know for sure is that we are going to get to ride the Velocicoaster. So we just got our itinerary for today. Like Tyler said, we are headed first thing to go hop on the Velocicoaster. Uh, they said something about a special guest and uh, we may be getting some ride footage as well. After that, we're gonna go have some snacks at Burger Digs where we're gonna get to talk to the chef that makes all these yummy treats. And then after that, we get to go check out the Raptor Encounter. So this is a bypass gate. Totally unexpected. I thought we were making our way all the way around the park but we've come to the bypass bridge, which is where you find the entrance to the Velocicoaster. Which locker is assigned to you? You won't be returning to this room, so you need to remember that number, symbol, or color to return. So, who saw Keenan Thompson popping up? Wild timeline. Okay, if you can't tell by the giant <laughs> smiles on our face, we just got off the Velocicoaster. That's our first time ever riding it, and I am blown away. Um, they have created something special. We're not going to talk about where we're going to rank it in Islands of Adventure. We have a video coming up in the future about that exact subject, but I will say this. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah. Um, that was wild. Like it is one of the most thrilling coasters I've ever been on. Like there's so much air time 
and the launches are oh intense. Yeah. And it seems like it it's a very long coaster. I didn't when I was reading the specs about it, I didn't think it was that long. Yeah. But riding it, it you're on there for a while. Also the um, the restraint is just the lap bar. Yes. And that's the first time I've been on a coaster that does take you upside down that just has the lap bar and I feel like that adds <laughs> to the thrill. And it doesn't just take you upside down. It takes you upside down a lot <laughs> <laughs> and in many different forms yeah. uh wow we're speechless so like i was saying earlier what timeline are we in where we're riding a velocicoaster with keenan thompson um yeah that's like kind of part of our childhood like all that good burger all like everything oh man um that uh that is something i can check off the list that i thought i would never do. yeah so what they have in store for us next is we are actually going to get to talk to some of the ride producers yeah. and ask them questions about the Velocicoaster. So we're pretty excited about uh, that. Yeah, I'm just going to ask them how they created something so brilliantly evil. <laughs> So we just got up on the balcony of Burger Digs and they are going to let us try all the food and we, you know us, oh, we are ready to eat. Uh -huh. um, some of it looks incredible. It and all we looks are, incredible. Uh, true, true. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited about that churro donut. I'm a donut guy, love churros, so why not? So as you can see, we got um, just one of everything. Um, in typical us fashion, we are excited to dig in. Uh, yeah, all this looks pretty good. I know Anna's probably not gonna touch the thing with the beans on it. I'll eat the rice that's underneath so it. So that's all me, but everything else, I think she will, she'll indulge into it. <laughs> so we're really excited about this. This has been so much fun. It's hard to believe that there's still more yeah. that they're gonna let us do. Uh, but right now I'm pretty hungry, so we are going to get into this food. So we just got done eating uh, all that food and yes, we did try one of everything and yes, we did eat most of everything. Uh -huh. And it was good, it was like great. it was really good. What was your favorite thing? I think the chicken was my favorite, okay. to be honest. Like the giant like chicken wings, yeah. they were absolutely delicious. Yeah. What uh, was yours? Probably that chocolate cake. Oh uh, yeah, like uh, the, the cake churro in the Never cup. mind, the churro donut. Oh, yeah. that, that was very good oh. too. <laughs> nice little surprise. It had like some yeah. caramel filling in there. Oh, it was great. It was really good. And then what was your least favorite thing? Probably, I really hated the churro because it wasn't just a regular churro. It yeah. had like sour, sour something stuff on, it. on yeah. it and I wasn't prepared for it and it just it and hit the me thing the thing is way. when she says that, like I had the same feeling, it was still good. Yeah. Like it wasn't bad. It was just not, like well, I would just rather have it without the stuff on it. Yeah, same. Personally. But now we are actually headed over to the Raptor Encounter and that I think is where today will conclude. Yes. I'm pretty excited to see what they have in store for us over here. So we should have known when it said hot set. It's talking about me. Uh, yeah, we should have known it was already roped off, roped off for me. So we're all good. She's not laughing because that's funny. She, she's agreeing. Do I? I mean, I think I have the legs for it. Yes, look at that. Dr. Grant, it's good to see you. Thanks for giving me the hat a couple years ago. I appreciate it. Yeah. Come on in, folks. Come on in. Um, essentially, what we are here, we're part of the Raptor Immersion Program. What we're trying to do, we're trying to get these Raptors used to things like people, cell phones, cameras, things of that nature that they're going to encounter every day here in Jurassic World. Uh, Owen Grady, he is the man that put me in charge of the Raptor Immersion Program. I'm sure you saw him on the ride. Yes, he's a good friend. But he writes the paychecks, and he gave me the rest of my outfit. Yeah kind of a danger to humans, so we don't like to have them interact with guests because that's what we call in the business a liability. And I don't know if you knew this, 
we tend to have some problems every once in a while in Jurassic World, yeah? Yeah. Today. Great. Doing good? All right. My name is Cash with a K, and this is Sierra. Now, she is a six-month-old baby velociraptor here at the park. She is part of the Raptor Immersion Program. Uh, what we do in the Raptor Immersion Program is we immerse the raptor in humanity. That's you. We introduce the dinosaur to people. Uh, in the hope. So they actually just said they're going to let us go backstage and see where Blue meets the guest every day. So hopefully we make it out alive. <laughs> All the way down the blue line, she waits for basically instructions from her expert. They bring her forward. She hits her second mark here on the pen. And then once we get a couple visual cues and she's... guys so we just finished up with the raptor encounter we just wanted to say thank you universal for inviting us out today we had a blast like that's one of the most fun days we've ever had at universal and we've had quite a few of them yeah. uh, today was absolutely amazing yeah. that was actually the first time we've ever done the raptor encounter yeah, like, and so it was so much fun yeah, it doesn't have the express line and you just never think it's gonna be that much fun but like we will do that again because we had a blast like the characters everything is just so good we don't want to spoil it for anybody we have some of course you've seen the footage but we don't want to tell you some of the things that they do yeah. like little things like that that just make it a wonderful experience so i really can't pick out a favorite part of the day i thought it would 100 percent be riding the velocicoaster Same. because we love roller coasters mm -hmm. but Really, the whole day was a fantastic experience, yeah. and I wouldn't trade any of it for any of the rest of it. Yeah. I guess that's how I'd <laughs> want to say it. Like, we had just an absolute blast, and once again, we just both want to say thank you so much, Universal, for having us out. You're the best. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.